Okay, it's time for a new LP. We got Super Mario 64 and Pokemon Red finished. Donkey Kong is still going on, but we need something to go beside it. Something maybe classic, something maybe new, something fresh. Let's see. I have a few ideas. I know I shouldn't ask, but Ninja, what are you wearing? Oh, I'm a mine agent now. You're a mind agent. Uh-huh. A mind agent. Yep, that's what I said. What is that? Ah, oh, you know, the usual lateral projection, clairvoyance, poking around in people's minds to see what makes them tick. You've piqued my interest. What is this? I'll show you. What? How are you going to show me now? <laughs> yeah, this, is, this looks exactly like the apartment. How am I supposed to be convinced that we're in... Look at that wall there. Notice anything different? Yeah, we're in my mind. That's the only something I could come up with. That would be a figment. I don't know what that means, but okay. Is that Barry? Ah, I've been looking for you, little buddy. Where have you been hiding? Little guy, Barry. I didn't even really ask. But wait. So far in my mind, that pretty much means I can think of anything and it'll pop up right in front of us, right? Perhaps. Dancing unicorns. actually worked. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. If we're truly in my mind, I've got an idea. It worked. That's what I'm talking about. I wonder if this actually work. Oh, it's, it's still a toy even in my mind. Worth a shot though. So, I've noticed something for the past few minutes. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Uh, we probably shouldn't talk to them. Keep going. Who's that? <laughs> what the hell? Myself? Question mark? Yeah, what well, gave it away? The big red beard? Sorry, but we're apparently looking for something. Yep. Figured as much that would be the only reason we're in my mind. I don't care what you're looking for. Just go. Just leave me be. Let me let me win this race. I need to concentrate here. This is serious business. Okay, if you just calm your chucks, we'll be right out of your beard. Just give us a few minutes, okay? Sorry. Myself is such an asshole. Well, he's a form of you. Wait a second. We went down the hall, came up that. Something here does not add up. I don't know, it's your mind. Maybe it's a labyrinth. Weird. Speaking of weird. That guy. I'm a pizza delivery man. I deliver pizzas. I work in a pizzeria, and my sole job is to deliver pizzas to those who order over the phone. Okay. As long as it's free, I won't refuse it. Thanks. That's not pizza. This is my Bible. I use it to help explain about saviors. I've had the door shut in my face many times. No, this is too weird. 
Okay, sure. Uh, do you want to get us out here? Hey everybody, I'm uh, going to be changing things up here, it's Ninja and... And me, Kumbalaya, and we are Jeff and Revised Gamers, as you know, and as she said, we're doing the things a bit different. So, Ninja, what will we, will we be playing today, as if it didn't show the title just now? We're playing Psycho now. One of my ultimate favorite games ever. Like, ever. And this is you playing it this time, and not me. I'm, I am the co-commentator for this. Ninja will be doing all the play. What I like about some of the loading screens, like the one we just saw, is that you can actually move Raz around. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Now, from what I've seen of this game, I have a conspiracy. Oh. Especially given the music here on the title screen whenever it starts, uh, when it starts the main melody here soon. Uh, if you listen to it, it sounds just like Beetlejuice's theme, or the opening credits of Beetlejuice, the main melody of it. Yeah, he showed me this the other day and um, played them both back and forth and then layered them on top of each other and it's like, what the? That's a lot of light. So I'm convinced that uh, Tim Burton and Danny Elfman got secret screen names and worked on this game. Because it's too much like a Tim Burton project to not have his name all over it. So Ninji, whenever you are ready, you may start your first let's play. <laughs> Now this is one we've been planning for a long time, just hadn't get really got the uh, full chance to actually do it yet. Of course, we kind of had to get the intro shot first, which as you saw, it was very fun to shoot. That's your new game, Bob. Oh, I keep saying mom, I keep saying ma'am. <laughs> 600 miles of synaptic fiber. Five and a half ounces of cream. 1,500 grams of complex neural matter. Okay. Bring down Kyle Trees. I'll tell you what it really is. Tell me. It is the ultimate battlefield. <sighs> the ultimate weapon. The rulers of this modern age. Yeah, some of these pet things I'm probably going to be a little bit wider than I usually am. Oh, yeah, that's the way it is. Undulation. That's the way I do cut things. <laughs> It'd be funny to somehow find a voice clip of Markiplier saying curvaceous undulations and put that over Don't look this shit out. <laughs> Bitch head. Beach head. I can only semi hear the TV. Try to keep it low enough where it won't have light to do. 
Isn't bad that I actually kind of wish this was a real summer camp? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychics? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man take it from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, Dad. To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oliander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier up above. Well, darling, you can stay here for a few days and enjoy your parents' company. But we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You can grab it, Yeah. Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. Here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. And what they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No, 
Do you do that? No. Once kind of. But now I wear this special hat. You want to try it on? No, no, no. <laughs> He has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand all the others. Ten kids, one in a million, nine. I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your kitty pigs. I got to big plans for that mind. I can't help but see Coach Oleander and think of um, when I used to work with you guys and Joey. Not not our Joey, but a different Joey. Not foggy. Not old weirdo that we just hang around. <laughs> now, um, I don't know exactly how long this Let's Play will take, but I'm going to try to 100% it as close as I can. Or as much as I can. You creating a new point too? Yep. <laughs> basically, basically going to say the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. What's the time looking over there? Uh, it's going on 11 and a half minutes. Minus the uh uh shoot, the turn just slipped my mind. Um yeah. Oh well, excuse me. I don't have to go through and do it again. I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot. I'm the early bird, and you're the worm. You got it? Now, lights out! I wasn't even sure if I'd have to go through and put the subtitles on again or not. Or we did sort of a test run of all that. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. <laughs> no, not quite. Over that way, if you will. This way? No, that way. What? Well, I, I like to goof around his, of his response. Over there. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, that oh, way! Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a side challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you up. I love to make an actual set of playing cards that look like four side cards. There we go. Mm. Mm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. Five bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a side core at the camp store to hold them together. You keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psycho nun? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Where'd he go? You would think it's <clears throat> but yeah, there's just so many things I love about this game, and I feel like it's kind of underrated. Besides the fact that it's a hidden and burnt project. <laughs> well, it's, some parts of it does kind of remind me of a style. Everything about it reminds me of a style. <laughs> I'm just excited about basic training. They're so peppy. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with being peppy, but it's just like, oh my gosh. So now you are finally. Nope. Ah. 
So I guess this is something that you can call a bit of a social experiment, if you will, us switching the spot. There's shiny that's in the toilet there. Yeah. Like, so, some of the stuff you can find in the game are found in kind of oddball spots, like the car there in the toilet. Like there being a car in the shit pot. <laughs> There was a car uh, shit pop. So, are you dating out there? Does that mean you're hanging out as much? I think he's Canadian. Now, I think things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna... Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Colin Mockery? Come on, James. He's a great actor. No, not quite. Yeah. That looks so annoying. Elk sensor. Elk track. Okay, what the heck? Oh, I don't I don't know if this this controller or what, but he it, keeps doing that every so often. It might be. It, but as the original controller I've got with my PS2. So. Yeah. <sighs> well shoot, I don't know if mine are in with yours or not. See that, or I was thinking, uh, <laughs> Oh, yeah, cross the spooky theme song. <laughs> oh, and, uh, there's a, I don't know if any of you can see it, but there's a little car way up there above the floor. That you're looking thing right, looking right in the middle of the screen right now? Uh-huh. Is that the one you can't get to? No, the, um, the thing that, I that I've never been able to figure out how to get to is a figment in Waterworld. Oh, a figment like that was in the intro? <laughs> Not quite like that figment. <laughs> ah. You jumped on the floor. I was Sorry if I give anybody motion sickness. It's been a while since I've played this. As will be fine. <laughs> I'm trying to refigure out some of the controls. <clears throat> so if I had to ask, mm -hmm. you're not excited at all mm -hmm. for Psychonauts 2, correct? Dude, I am stoked for Psychonauts 2. Seeing how it's finally confirmed that it's now in development. Yes, I'm so freaking happy. Because, um, I think this game came out in... 2005? And, um, come to think of it, my dad was actually, uh, my dad, Kentucky Ranger Pro, he was the one that got me into this game, because I saw that he had, I want to say it was a demo? Dang it. Um, he had a demo of it on the computer, and I've seen him play it a few times, and it's like, huh, that looks interesting. I think I might try it out. And then, uh, your addiction was he finally got the game, and I started playing it, and it's like, holy oh, crap, this is really cool. Psychonauts is to you what Zelda is. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Be the 
worst band name I have ever heard in the history of ever, of all time, ever. Even in this world, they don't like this one. That's what I was thinking. No, and it's worse, as in I can't even believe we're friends and so bad. Look deeply into your heart, Phoebe. And I think you'll find that even you believe the Levitators is pretty much the dopest name a band could ever have. The Levitators? Uh, are we some sort of cover band that only plays graduation ceremonies for motivational seminars? I've been practicing, and I think I could levitate us both during our gigs. For real now. <laughs> the Whispering Rockers. Oh, uh, what? That's my band idea. Are you kidding? A kid got killed in that class last year. I heard it was a bunch of kids, Phoebe. I heard it was a bunch of blind kids, and the coach threw them off a cliff. Yeah, because they were late for class. <laughs> got a hurry, kid. Now, where, where are we, Clinton? Hey, one of the band name idea? No, no the last one was too good. <laughs> Yeah, if you give us another, we'll just have to fight about which of yours was better. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Look, you know I have a good solo going, but sometimes things get hot. I can't help it. And it's taking... <laughs> oh, and you'll see what happens here in a sec. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take Bear is much smaller, also more hair, less lurking, always eager to wrestle. This one, fight and run. I'll let you know if I see him. Cannot lurk forever, Bear. Nah! The rest of camp is off limits until you have a basic braining merit badge. Oh, I'm gonna make it more! Well, looks like we're going to have to wrap it up for this episode. Uh, Don't worry, that's only part one. I think there's more? 
assuming you're the one doing this, not me. <laughs> this is your baby. I'm being facetious. Propecious. Let's go. <laughs> well, this is the end of Supervised Gamers with Ninja. And Kobalaya is the beard man. And stick around for the next episode. See y'all later. Adios. Thank you.